Well, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. No, just kidding. Hi. Happy Tuesday. My intro didn't work today, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But we're here. Hello, hello. What was that? Goodness, I don't even know. So when you get on, when you get on, um, say hello. Am I streaming live? I would love to. Usually, um, welcome to the replay, by the way. Usually, I am not live just yet. So hopefully, um, I don't know, I don't see anyone. Am I in the wrong place? Hi Angie and Barbie and Jennifer and Mary and Anne Marie and Teresa. I'm so glad you're here. Hi Wanda, hi Kathy, Lily, McDonald, thank you so much. So as I was um, trying to figure out why my comments aren't working, which they're working now, but it, I have this little thing where it tells me how many people are watching and it says zero. So I was like, oh my gosh, where am I? Hi, Shelly. Hi, Patty. Hi, Jane, Colleen, Dion. Wow, they're going so fast. I gotta see. Oh, there we go. Vicki, hello. <gasps> I have a new setup. I have a new big screen that I can look um, at my comments and see them without going like this and squinting. So I can see Carrie Fry, Cindy Vasquez, Michelle Montoya, Patty Coolis. I'm not sure how to if I'm saying your names right, but I'm trying. Amy Schulz, Gail Martinez, hello, hello. Facebook has me live, good. Hi, Danelle, and I see we have some YouTubers. Okay, awesome. Hi, Amy Cresswell and Margaret Miller and Linda Kozar. Yay, you got your, your, um, your grace gift, awesome. So very cool. Um, this is one of the most exciting things that I've had in a long time. So I hope you guys are ready for this live because I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm trying to figure out where um, my missing videos are. Like my intro. Love my intro, but for some reason it didn't work. Sometimes when I click the button to play it, it just goes bloop, and it doesn't play. So we're gonna try. Hi Connie, Riffle, and Teresa, and Sherry, and Lisa, and thank you for sprinkling. That's the best thing ever. So we give happy mail to people who sprinkled. Oh, I left my names over there. To the people who sprinkled, and so everybody, gets um uh who sprinkles gets entered into hang on i'm almost there into um a drawing and basically Be right there. Okay, so basically, what happens is everybody gets um, their name into a drawing and um, Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Chris, Kennedy, and Debbie. Hello, and Dell. Woohoo! So, um, I always do a drawing. 
someone was messaging me earlier saying, what's Happy Mail? What's Happy Mail? And um, Happy Mail is just a gift from me. I send it in the mail and you get it and it's awesome and it's happy and it's not a bill and it's not a junk mail. So everybody loves that. Well, um, basically, that's what that is. And so when you sprinkle, it means you're publicly sharing my video to your place, your profile, your time, you know, whatever, um, or a group, a fun um crafting group that you're in or something like that. That is what that means. I'm still trying to fix my intro and outro video. Okay, so we are here, we are sprinkling and yes, so Deborah sprinkling is publicly sharing my live, my video. Um, and you can hit the share button while you're watching. Actually, I'm, I'm a hot mess today. Um, but that's normal, right? That's normal. Okay. Sitting on my girls' soccer game. Oh, yay! Up 5-0. and oh. Woohoo! Hi, Sarah. Hi, Dawn. Okay. Hi, Bernadette. Hello, hello. Um, okay. So, basically, we are making... The most adorable scarecrow you've ever seen, ever in your life of seeing scarecrows made by me. If that isn't a mouthful. Um, which kind of means we're going to make a scarecrow and you're going to love it. It's going to be adorable. Oh, let me pick my winner. Let me pick our winner. Our winner is, ooh, Jane. Smith, I'm going to send you happy mail. And I am going to keep that there and recycle those. Okay. Congrats, Jane Smith. Woohoo. Uh, make sure if you are new and you're winning, you've sprinkled and you're winning something, that you reach out to me and give me your address if I don't already have it. Um, just saying that Jane Smith is, you know, kind of a common name. So I'm hoping, you know what I'll have to do? I'll have to go back to yesterday's live and click on that person and um, make sure I don't have two Jane Smiths. Cause I, oh, I, I moved my printer. <laughs> and I have one of those printers where you actually pour the ink in, um, which is really awesome and it like saves a lot of money. But um, ink, for some reason, it like migrates all over the place. So it's awful. So Chantel, I definitely have more wine and I'm saving it for a special day. <laughs> Susanna, my assistant was like, um, pretty sure you need to do that at least once a month. And I was like, uh, really? Because it's super embarrassing. And she's like, no, she goes, so many people like we're laughing hysterically, having such a good time. You just need to do it. And I'm like, okay, well, no more breaking things. No more breaking things. So I said, I'll do it, but I just can't bring the bottle of wine over here with me. Apparently, I need like a wine cooler behind me, and then I just have the wine in there safe and sound, and I can just fill my... I'm going to put it in a wine tumbler next time. I'm lucky my favorite wine glass didn't break with the bottle. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. So I do. I have a bottle of my favorite ready for the next time I need to do this. Um, also, I have to tell you, yes, Jane Smith, I'm sure it's you. I'm sure it is. Cause, yay, woohoo. And you did sprinkle yesterday? Then it's you, you won, congratulations. You're gonna get happy mail. Make sure I have your address, por favor. Send it to me as like a private message. Um, so, Today, all my kids are at school all day. It was like the best quiet day ever. Well, Emma was at school all day, but it was in her room. She was at her desk computer while, uh, having classes all day. But the boys were legit at their school buildings. It was so amazing. Easton came home so upset. And I'm like, what is wrong? He's like, I didn't want to have to leave school. 
He didn't want to have to leave. See, that's how awesome it is. He's like, he loves school. So he had a great time. His teacher, Mrs. Baker, um, apparently is awesome because he's like, it's going to be a good year. He's all over last year. Like, I can move on. I have a new cool teacher. She's going to be awesome. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Patty. Okay. Thank, I mean, thank you, Patty. Absolutely, Tommy. I got you. I understand. All right. So let me take you on a little ride. Okay. So we have this awesome, uh, this is one of our door tags, our large door tag. So I'm going to have this upside down. Um, I'm going to use some tape. We have our awesome placement tape and I'm going to, um, you know what? I, oh, goodness gracious. I need to do something. Okay. So I am gonna, I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna like make, oh wait. It's probably got to be. That's probably good. I'm going to make a little. Probably should have measured this. Make sure it's the appropriate, it's like uh, uh, one and a half, three-fourths, one and three, I don't know if that's one and three-fourths, but it looks like it, one and a half, okay, they're both about one and three-fourths, so we're, what we're going to do is, we. I'm going to put, the, literally putting this back on the roll. I don't want to waste. And sometimes I reuse my washi tape because I'm that kind of person. And washi tape can be reused, just so you know. I know, Bernadette, I'm excited that he likes school too. <gasps> Jane, that's so... Oh, and guess what we found out? She is pregnant, going to have a baby. Um, sweet young thing. I have, remember my pencil I made? I still have to put Mrs. Baker on the back of it. I actually think during the live when I made that, I said I had a dream that her name was Mrs. Baker. And it is. But anyway, I digress. I got to put her name on the back. I didn't send it to school today. I should have. Um, but his backpack was pretty full. So I will put it in when I go drop off all the supplies that I'm donating. Um, yeah, so I have to do that. The baking company, that would be so cute. I'm sure she's like got all kinds of like baker stuff. I do have the baking company thing up there. All right, so I've taped this off. I went up like one and three quarters inch from each side, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna paint down here. I have, I'm, I'm gonna do a couple things. I have some uh, AKA baby poo curry paste and I'm going to paint with it. I'm going to use this to kind of mush it up and get it watery. And then I'm going to do a different kind of a paint up here because this one I want it to be uh, kind of dark. But it's not gonna go so like it's not gonna be a solo color. Um, this is not going to. And if this isn't dark enough for me, I may paint with another color over it. So this is just chalk paste. Okay, I'm using the word paint because I'm using a paintbrush. But what I did is I watered down my paste <laughs> and I am using a paintbrush to apply it to the surface. Okay. I think this is pretty good. The only thing I could do would add a little bit of dark to it. Oh, 
Um, I don't know that I'm going to wax this 100%, um, but I'm going to let this dry. I need to have this color. Mm, you know, I'm looking in there and I see... I'm going to do something kind of crazy. Let me... Let me try to darken this up a little. I really wanted... I, I like that color. Um, I like the curry. And I know it's going to look good in the end. But when it's all said and done... I'm going to need a little bit, maybe a little, shoot, I'm a, I'm a hot mess. Maybe just a little bit of darkness on here as well. There we go. Just get it a little darker, still with the kind of yellowish, but like a little darker yellow. All right, so now it is with the grain. Everything looks good, it's dark. I'm gonna leave this here. And I'm gonna just kind of dry it a little bit. Oh, and I definitely have to plug in my hot glue gun. So, we do that while I am drying this. Did Ryan get on the, thank goodness, Joanne, he did. All, everything went really well. He really had a good day, he said. Um, he goes, I do have to tell you that officially my name is now Jorge. And I said, what? And he goes, yep. I said, how did you get the name Jorge? And he's like, well, let me tell you. He said, my sixth, grade, my sixth period teacher, Mr. Woolheis, was taking attendance and he said Ryan Gruber and I said is invisible and he was like hmm and he was playing a game trying to learn our names later in the hour and he looked at me and he said George and I said it's Jorge so then he said from now on that's your name Jorge so now he has a name Jorge. I will call him Jorge. Probably not, but it was funny. So he's getting to know his teachers, joking around. That's all good. Hopefully not too much. Um, but because they're doing a soft start, literally there are only like four to six kids in each class because they're only doing like a third of the kids at this point. All right, so this is nice and dry. And um, this is gonna drive me nuts. This is nice and dry, so what I need to do is um, this part. And I wanna protect this. So I think I'm going to I was gonna, I need to like paint, it, distress it a little. And a lot of times I use the, um, my words stopped coming out of my mouth. My brain stopped working. Um, stain. But I'm going to try to do it with I'm going to try to do it with this bark. Um, I'm not going to use this one, though, because this has that yellow in it. So we're just going to pop that in there. I'll grab a new one of these. And I'm thinking I want to, I want it a little darker. 
you're gonna this is crazy I'm gonna add a little black but honestly we're just gonna be watering this down like crazy so we'll see if we get the desired like dark walnut color And I may even, after, after I finish and it's like really wet, I may um, wipe it off. Just, I should have taped that off, but I'm just using my keen eye and stealthy handwork. I don't really know what I'm saying here. I'm just getting right up next to that line. Okay, the boys are watching a movie. They don't neither of them have school tomorrow. We have we have some assignments to work on, but we don't have um, in class school because we're doing a soft start as you know okay all right so this is the desired color I wanted I'm very glad I did what I did and I just need to get this on here sprayed a little bit more water I know you guys are like, I don't see it, Sarah. I don't see it. Well, you will. I promise, I promise. Um, thanks, Jane. When you use the, no, no buffering. No, no. Where's my room? I don't even know what to do. Um, when you use chalk and water mixture, can you wash it off later on? You know, you probably could if it was a washable surface. This is a wooden surface, which I don't really recommend trying to wash it off. Honestly, um, I'm going to just try to wipe off a little and I'm just trying to follow the grain and then we're just going to dry that all right this looks really good okay so I am going to dry this And we're going to get to town on the rest of it. I've got a couple transfers that I'm going to use. You will see that coming soon. Okay. Awesome sauce. Let me grab my first transfer, which is the herringbone. So our awesome herringbone transfer. It is a B-sized background design. And the door tags are thinner. They're thinner. They're the same wood finish, but they are thinner than our um, than our pumpkins. So what that means is, uh, let's see. So what that means is, um, they're more. They're more like. Hmm. 
We have our tags, but these are, so you know the mini tags, have you ever used the mini tags? They're kind of like, they're kind of like two mini tags. Mini tags are pretty skinny, but they're like two of them, about the width of two of them. And kind of the same feel as the mini tags. Okay. I need a little bit more. See, I was reusing a piece that I had used before. Now I'm going to reuse this other piece. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now, I am going to stir up my bark. I'm going to stir up my bark, my bark chalk. Hi, Pam. You caught me. I'm live. Yes, I am. Spread out a little bit of chalk paste there, and we are just gonna go. So I'm using that tape as a mask, and I'm gonna mask off that line because I don't want any chalk paste past that line. We're gonna go all the way up to the top with it. Thanks, Holly. Okay. There we go. Oh, you guys, if you are new, um, do me a favor. Type in the comments, add me, and I will get you an invite into my free group for ideas, inspiration, and insider information, okay? Ideas, more ideas and inspiration, right? Insider information, lots of cool stuff going on inside my group. Okay, I may use that again. All right. Kind of cool, but it doesn't look like anything yet, right? That's what you're thinking. You're like, this is kind of cool. I see what you're doing, but it doesn't look like anything yet. Okay. Vicki, yay, it's your first live. Woohoo! Hi, Kathleen. Thank you. Hi, Carol. So, okay. Let's keep going. Dry that. Every step of the way, I don't want to mess it up. So, I saw, I, kn I saw someone do that. Well, I didn't see someone do it. I saw a photo. Um, of something very similar to this. I'm putting my own spin on it, but it wasn't my idea. So I am like, I'm a, I'm, I get inspired by other people. And I saw someone do this, something, well, using this. Ugh. But not everything is exactly the same because I can't do, I can't like do the same, same. I always have to put my own spin on it. Okay, now I need the mini buffalo plaid. Mini buffalo plaid. It's gonna be awesome. And there really isn't anything mini about this transfer except for the little plaid pieces. It is a large transfer. Oh, you know, my chair is behind me. I forgot. Let me straighten this out. Let me do it like... That. Don't mind me. I'm just being a hot mess. Okay, 
So we got our buffalo plaid on there. And I'm going to put this tape along the same line that I had before. Okay, there we go. All right, now take some of our bark. Oh, I threw my transfer in here. I didn't even need to do that. Okay, and we are gonna make this buffalo check. So this right here is going to be his shirt, okay? Up there is going to be his hat. And in the middle is going to be his sweet little face, scarecrow face. I know you can't see it yet, but it's going to come to life for you. And then you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I need to do that. Okay. Remove this. Oof, and then I will remove the transfer. Oh, my water is already icky. There we go, okay. Okay, now we dry again. Dry, dry, dry. Hi, Carol. Me too, Lindsay. I love it. Yeah, and I can't remember who posted or where this picture, but I know I've already like changed some of the things. Happy September, Debbie. Oh, speaking of September, and if you are not already a Club Couture member, here is the awesome promo for being a club member. You get 50% um, off of 13 different select transfers so they are previous exclusive club transfers okay and um you get 50 percent off so normally a transfer of a size b is going to be approximately 14.99 however as a club member you get them for seven dollars and 49 cents and there are some adorable ones. I had to go grab some myself. So adorable. Um, those are 50% 50, 50 off, you guys. 50% off. So um, only club members get that. So if you're not a club member and you want to know what it is, what it's all about, we have a subscription club where you get... Um, you get... Uh, an exclusive transfer um, set from corporate. They ship it right to your house every single month for $19.99 and you get three chalk paste colors with it every month. Um, and you can't buy the transfers anywhere else. They're exclusive, like I said. Um, my sister, I think I sent my papaya home with her, and I want to do a darker orange, like I wanted to do papaya. 
but I can easily fix that by just adding a teensy weensy little bit of brown to my orange. A teensy weensy amount of brown to the orange. There we go. That's pretty good. It's like a papaya color. And I only need a little bit of it. So if you want the information about the club, if you type club in the comments, I'll send you a message and you can grab, you can, you can um, read the information. There's a little video and also um, it'll show you, tell you how you can sign up. All right, now. Let me get moving on this. Okay, so we need to dry this. We gotta put, gotta clean up a bit before we can embellish everything. Okay, alrighty. Now, da da da. Okay. Good, good, good. We've got stuff over there. I'm gonna dry this. We have our glue hot and ready to go. I need to grab my black chalk marker. We have black and white chalk markers and we have silver and gold chalk markers and they are really awesome and they do wash off if you want them for something like a menu board or cool it down okay So now we have um, that. I oh my gosh, you guys! Oh crud! I just dropped a board. Don't worry. I'm just trying to get my Q-tips because. I kind of like screwed up that. There we go. Okay, so we got his nose. We got his everything else. Now we need to make the brim of his hat. So he's gotta have like this straw hat, right? So I've got some awesome burlap that I'm going to use. Oh, yes. I love it when it's like this. Okay. So we've got some burlap. And I'm going to fray the ends here. And I'm going to, I'm actually going to fold this in half. So I'm going to hot glue. Oh, I should I should have some tools.
Oh, for goodness sakes, why are you doing this to me? Okay. trying not to burn my fingers, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. All right, so that's like fun burlap for his hat. And I did fold it over and I pressed it down so that it all like this, everything went through. I'm gonna trim a couple things off of here. I just wanna push that back down. Just give it a little haircut here. And give this one a little haircut. There we go. Okay, so we give them a little haircut. Now, I also need, all right, I picked this up at Michael's. It has, um, it's just kind of fun. It's got all sorts of, it's got wheat, leaves, berries, like all sorts of like different things. And I'm gonna kind of add them individually if I can. If I can, oh, there we go. I'm like, I'm trying really hard to peel them out. I don't know. There we go. Usually, you can pull them out. It just takes a little bit of um, elbow grease. There we go. All right, so now I'm not gonna use my good scissors for this. I'm gonna use my little wire snippers. Thank you. Oh, Colleen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so this is a little bit, you know, this is gonna take a bit of time to kind of figure out how I want to do this. If I wanna like pop it through and then glue it on start gluing some things down um like I feel like these leaves I don't need anything on them except like I can just glue let me see I think this one definitely I want it to go behind that was hot okay I'm going to glue some of that down. Uh, we need some straw. Let's see if I can kind of want to like stick it in there, but then also glue it down. There we go. Now, this is fun. I can stick this. I'm gonna cut off this one too. And pop it in the back. Kind of like under here. I'm gonna get it with the glue.
that. There we go. And then the apples. I am going to trim off the wire, except for like a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. There we go. All right, then these apples need to go like that. Yep, he's going to have apples all over. Okay, one apple. And then this one. I'm just going to hold them there. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, I'm like super concentrating on this. I'm not being very talkative at all, but I think it'll be all right. Now, we're not done. We still have to do this. Um, I don't I don't know if I need that or not. We'll just keep it in our back pocket, and if we think we need it, we'll grab it. All right, so now we need a fun... Um, a fun like messy bow for down here. I'm going to trim some of that. Okay, so first we're gonna start with some jute, my favorite, okay? We'll set him aside. I've got my jute. I have some, this is that really fun random ribbon stuff that I have. I have some regular colors, some dark polka dot, a little bit light, some golden orange, shimmery, this fun falling apart ribbon, and then a little bit of that. So I've got quite a bit here. I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to use this jute and I'm going to tie it tight and double knot it. And then I'm gonna let the jute kind of like be part of the ribbon. And I'm gonna work it. Work it, girl. I'm gonna work it and kind of like pull things out and fluff it around. Trim that, trim that. And so we kind of have this cute bow tie, which we're gonna put on that hole right where that hole is. Okay, now, um, I kind of feel like it needs to be bigger. Um, let me try to make it bigger. I think, I think I can, I think I can. I was thinking it had to be small, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll do a double. Okay, let's do a double. Let's do a double layer. Okay, I got this. I got this, you guys. I got it. We're going to use some of the bigger pieces, and it's going to be just fine. 
Okay. Um, what else can I grab? Okay, so we're gonna do a double layer. Okay, now let's make a big one. And we'll do a double layer. Okay, perfect. Get me some jute. Don't ask me. I think I made my shirt a little big. Oh, big buttons would be adorable. They really would. Why? Rick rack along the V of his shirt. Yes. So I was looking up, I was looking up images of um, scarecrows and Rick rack would totally be awesome. 100% definitely this is definitely there we go so if we do it like that I think that will work okay and I just want to like make it pretty solid Where that one's gonna go up there. Um, a lot of them had like the scalloped edge around their neck, which I think would be super adorable. So we're just making a double, double bow, and I hope it stays put. This one I tried to kind of pull this through there. There we go. Okay. So now, oh, you guys, this is so adorable. Yeah, I totally glued it. Totally glued it to my thing. But hot glue comes right off like that. Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like he needs... Oh, maybe nothing. I was going to say, maybe he needs like a little tag that says hello fall but you know what less is more sometimes oh thank you so here's here's the deal we made this adorable thing tonight look how big he is right it's a door tag so he's big um he's not just some little guy he is adorable you could totally put a hanger on him if you want to hang him but you could also stand him put him on a stand or set him behind um something that you want now he's fall he's gonna last for till the end of November you guys um speaking of um nothing I'm dig I'm I'm changing the subject for a second if you have ever thought about becoming a designer like me please type team in the comments I'll get you an invite to my opportunity group there is a very cool um updated kit uh, when you join Chaka Tour as a designer, you get a designer startup kit. It is amazing. And it has, it's been updated with holiday transfers that are brand new. I can't even buy them yet. They're amazing. And um, if you want to see that, type team in the comments and I'll, I'll let you go into my opportunity group where you can see the um, new kit and you can hear my opportunity video. Oh, thank you, you guys. Seriously. 
Oh, Carrie Fry, thank you so much. Rosy cheeks. Um, he totally could use some rosy. I, yeah. I'm so. I don't know. I would have to like see it first to know if I want it on my guy. Rosy cheeks would be kind of cute. But here, I love it. And this thing, like, I went shopping today. I brought Emma just to find stuff to go on his hat. Like, that's all. Um, I hit a jackpot of, like, 40% off ribbon. <laughs> but don't worry. Some of it's going into Monday's bundle, which is going to be amazing um and anyway I, I just this this so adorable now technically you could make this even if you don't have this transfer you could still make this um you could freehand his face easy enough right you could freehand his face rosy cheeks socks knocked off yes see I told you I was going to knock your socks off. I said it was going to be so awesome, so cute, and so easy. You guys, you could make mini scarecrows, right? Now that we know like how to do it, we could make little mini ones that could fit in your tear tray. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, all, all kinds, all kinds. So cute. When are you allowed to see the September Club Special that you will post? Um, I've already posted the September Club Special inside my VIP group and on my Facebook business page. Um, so if you're in my group, you can check it out. Hang or no? So here's the deal. Because the door hanger, look how cute this is. Aaron, look how amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Your wife is freaking amazing. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, oh, saying hi. We're going with the teal, right? Hi, That's Aaron. Sure. Yeah, we are going to... Okay. I'll go teal over teal right now. Yeah, just touch it up <laughs> for Easton's class. Both walls need to be painted. For real? You should see all the holes that I filled. You're not going to have enough to paint both. Yeah. We only started with one gallon. We have more than half left. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Painting walls or repainting, touching up. Okay. So, um, for Easton's class, total. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. So, anyway, this does not have a hanger. So, because it's a door tag, this is where you would attach the hanger. But what you probably could could do is you probably could attach a hanger to the back or if you had tiny enough staples you could like staple some ribbon uh, or some jute um, and make a little hanger here but um, he's my new friend we gotta name him Jorge name him Jorge the scarecrow Jorge the scarecrow um hi Valerie okay so I don't know where he's going but he's like my pride and joy right now so I'm pretty sure I need to like put him right here so everybody can see him every day that I go live it was a work of if it was a work of love it took me about what 40 minutes, 45 minutes to do, honestly. The minis would be so cute on a wreath. Yes, they would. I almost went wreath, wreath crazy today. I didn't though. Um, I held my, I, I, I didn't go crazy. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Now, tomorrow, I don't know how I can top this. Tomorrow is 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, so we're gonna do a little afternoon live action. Uh, we're gonna end, we're gonna end 
the series of, um, what's it called? The Jack-O-Lantern transfer series. Okay. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Rosa. And Beth. You're welcome. You're welcome. So honestly, I just, I don't know. Eat Ryan. Come meet, ah! oh, come meet Jorge. Jorge? I just yeah. named him. Yay. Isn't he adorable? Ethan, look what I made. Ooh. Isn't it adorable? Hey, are you done for your live? I'm almost done. I'm saying goodbye. Well, I want to do a sleepover here in town. Well, you're not going to do a sleepover down here. Right. It's a school night. For Easton, not for me. You have homework, you said. No. Well, it's, it's not, not school. Well, it's not like not school night for homework. me. You could put them inside a window. I could, for it's sure. Not a school night for oh, me. Oh, you did. Easton, you. Oh, I told you not to come. <gasps> Pick it up and put it in the trash very carefully. Like, oh, we gotta go. These boys are finding glass still. Throw it away. Don't. Come on. Did you throw it away? All right, upstairs, upstairs. Bye guys. Okay. Good night, I love you. All right, here we go. We're gonna put him somewhere special. We're gonna take pictures and everything first, but we'll put him somewhere special. And that's all. Thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of your night and I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. I'm like 2 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Central. Mm, that doesn't work. 3, 3, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's all I'm going to say. Bye, guys. <gasps> Where's my video? There it is.